Christians get involved in government, you're not talking about them taking biblical laws and making them apply today to our culture then, are you? You go through the scriptures and see, if, look, okay, how, how inflation, for example. Okay. We got, what is inflation? You know Gary Mo North, most, I don't know most, Gary most, North. You don't have to know Gary North to know what inflation is. Most people think inflation is higher prices. And the quality of the dollar goes down. Yeah, and the, re and the reason is, is because the dollar is diluted. Right. If I were to take, if I were to take your favorite drink and, you know, put, uh, uh, you know, some water in it, that would be inflation. If I took that and sold it, say I was a, say I was a, a winemaker and I was, I was going to sell my wine, but I was going to add water to it and sell it as it's the real thing, I would be committing a crime. In fact, Isaiah talks about this in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 22 and 23. It says, your silver has become dross and your wine diluted with water. And you look at that and you say, Okay, how do we apply that today? Well, we've done that with our own currency. It used to be we had gold and silver, so literally gold and silver coins. If you look at a, if you look at a silver coin, what do you have around the edges? Like a little lip or something. Well, it's a little striations all the way around. Right, 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 right. Why? And why don't you find them on a penny and the nickel? Why do you find them only on the dime, the quarter, the half dollar, or the dollar? Well, the reason is, is because silver and gold were considered valuable metals. And people are always, they always have larceny in their hearts. There are always people out there who are trying to rip people off. No. No, no I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> and so what they would do is they would clip the coin. They would take a really sharp knife and just clip a little bit off the edges of a gold coin or a silver coin, get those shavings off of there, still, still use that coin as the, as the full commodity coin, take those shavings and melt them down, go to an assayer's office and get, and get money for it. So you'd have the real coin, but it had been debased, taking those, those, those shavings and then getting money for them and therefore devaluing the coin. That's mm -hmm. inflation. Same thing with water. Jesus encountered the, the law of the, with the statement of, of Isaiah chapter one, verses 22, your, your silver has become dross and your wine diluted with water. What kind of what kind of wine were they were they serving at the wedding? Well, they, they put some good stuff out there first, right. and then they put the, the diluted stuff later. So right. it was a common thing for people to do this. Mm -hmm. Jesus makes the better wine. So today, what do we have? That wasn't wine. That was grape juice. Yeah, well, you want to believe that, you can go ahead. What are you trying uh, to say? Are you trying to say the people who believe that are wrong? Yeah, of course they are. Wow. Okay. Uh, how, 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 how do you have wine skins burst with grape, with, with grape juice? It was fermented a little bit. Yeah, not like then it, then it's then like it's like wine. Like it's still a little bit of alcohol in there, you know. Yeah, not a lot though. So what, what so what do we have our what do we have our government doing today? They got rid of the gold and the silver altogether. Those coins don't have any gold or silver in them. They're made up to look like that. Now show show me where the Christian is supposed to be involved in changing that. Well, because if we got involved in in, in in politics, we would say, look, you can't you can't cheat people. If if Kellogg's can't cheat people with how much is in the cereal box. How can the government cheat people on, on commodities like money? That is not the gospel. Making sure people don't cheat people is not the gospel. Yes, it is. That brings somebody to salvation? Making sure people don't cheat people? Well, no, you're, no. you don't have the gospel unless you have law. Why do you go to somebody with the gospel? Because they're sinners. Yeah, how do you know they're sinning? Because they're breaking the law. Okay, so you need the law in order to make the case that they need the gospel. So without the law, there's no there's no gospel. Yeah, that, that's an evangelism. That's not a government. The government isn't there to convert people. No, the government is there to do what governments are supposed to do. Which is? God has ordained a civil magistrate to be a minister of God. So in the civil sphere, civil magistrate has to maintain just weights and measures across the board. We even have a bureau of standards for just weights and measures. We have in the Constitution itself that the states can't pay any debts unless they are in gold and silver. I'm with you now. Christians get involved in government. To do what? Preach the gospel. No. Well, that's Christians what got in, get involved in government to do the work of civil government because civil government is one of the functions of the civil magistrate, which God has ordained. But the Christians are supposed to be about the duty. Right. That was the call. That's right? it. Go and making disciples of every nation, yeah. right? And what's the rest of it? teaching them to obey everything that I've, I've commanded, commanded you. Yeah. So now you go out and you've evangelized somebody, what do you do? What am I supposed to do now that I've, I've been evangelized?